Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Wizard 101 for old folks. So I have 19 wizards and I have probably over half of them that have gardens of some sort or another on them. So I am a very avid gardener and we all know that um, most people garden so that they can get mega snacks for their pets or uh, like my garden over here that you see with the elephant ears uh, we do those so that we can get blades and whatnot uh, treasure cards to help our wizards uh, also you get a lot of gold with gardening lots of gold uh, I have new gardens I have um, the older gardens I even have the brand new gardens that I just recently did a video about on how to make the 60 plot uh, garden using the new advanced movement. So we all know that I love gardening. But one thing that I really feel like does not get talked about enough is how useful it is to garden the ultra plants that are out there. Now not a lot of people garden the ultra plants as often because they don't replenish their seeds um, all the time. Uh, they do have rare drops where you do get a replenished ultra seed but it's it's not often. Um, however, I like to stockpile up my ultra seeds and then plant them all in one garden and raise them up and I'll let them go to ghost like these are and then I will uh, wait for like a double garden or if I use one of the double garden elixirs then I'll harvest them that way I get twice the rewards out of the ultra plants so I wanted to go through a few of these ultra plants with you just to let you know some of the benefits to doing the ultra plants. This is your opportunity to find things that you may need for rare crafting quests. I know in uh, Avalon uh, you have to find a, a potent trap I think it is and uh, or no that's Azteca and Azteca there's a potent trap you have to find and then your craft comes along in Avalon and it has another hard one to find. The Darkmoor decks have to find those moats, uh, moats of beauty, moats of eternity, that sort of thing. Those are hard to find. All of these can be found in the ultra plants. So let me show you some of the things that you can find in your ultra plants. Uh, first up is the Ultra Alligator Pear Tree. Now it drops the potent traps that we just talked about and the sharpened blades. It also drops the cloak treasure cards. Those are all great for PvP purposes. Um, also the Soul Sapper and Croco Mummy and the other Croco like Croco Tep and, and whatnot uh, treasure cards as well. It also is good for a few housing items like your Darkmoor urns or your fish fountain if you need that one. Uh, it does have some snacks that it drops as well. The Ultra King Parsley is a good one if you need some treasure cards for your PvPing. Uh, the Bad Juju card, Black Mantle, the Bone Tree Lord, your school traps uh, can be dropped from the Ultra King Parsley. And it also drops a Summon Meowiarty card, which is great to have. Now, it will also drop, and the reason that most people like to garden the King Parsley in general, but the Ultra King Parsley too, is because it will drop Amber, Aether, Black Pearls, and Springs. Um, you can get some housing items from it, the Broad Darkmoor Plinth that a lot of people like to use uh, to plant their soil in. Um, and the bubbling cauldron that's used in some crafting recipes and even the star chalice which is one of the likes for the king parsley the ultra trumpet vine is a good one to get 
it drops the Kaimaneas, uh, the treasure cards, the cold iron, and the Franklin stoves. Those are real popular to use in PvP. It drops a lot of the perfect reagents, and the housing item that you can get is the gong of the Oni, and we have to use that for a few crafting things as well. The Ultra Boom Shroom is not a bad one to get if you want the uh, school bubble treasure cards. It also can drop the pet, the total pet. It sometimes will drop a small normal planter and most of the reagents that it drops are the flawless reagents. The Ultra Dandelion can drop uh, energy, health, and healing jewels. It drops some reagents, the bronze, cobalt, iron, nickel, and tungsten, but it drops the moat of wisdom. Remember we were talking about the Darkmoor decks? So this one, the Ultra Dandelion, if you need the moat of wisdom, is the way to go. Uh, it can also drop a green cat thug pet. How fun is it that some plants drop pets? Love that. The Ultra Fly Trap is good for your Polymorph Treasure Cards, and it drops the Amber Dust Reagent. The Ultra Heliphant Ears, I think I have a few of those mixed in over here with my regular Heliphant Ears. I think a few of these uh, might actually be the Ultra Heliphant Ears. Uh, they also are known to drop uh, one of the moats. It's the Moat of Beauty. They're great for PvP in as far as they drop blades and spears also for the schools. They drop some jewels for energy healing and mending, and they can drop the Jade Oni Pet, which is a lot of fun. The Ultra Ninja Fig can uh, drop the weapon rack housing item that some people need and the ninja piggle pet. The ultra snapdragon drops the school prism cards and will also drop the um, summon malastare uh, minion card. That's a really good one to have. It also can drop a pet. It's the summer dragon pet. A real fun little pet. And if you need the Darkmoor Deathstone, this is the plant you'll need. The Ultra Snow Apples drops the other moat. It's the Moat of Eternity. And it also drops the Aura Treasure cards. Uh, it'll drop the Darkmoor Brazier. And it drops a pet as well. Occasionally you will get an Ice Bird from that one. And then lastly is the Ultra Tiger Lily. Now the Ultra Tiger Lily can drop the um, Ancient Scroll Reagent that everybody, when you get that, that crafting assignment that needs 50 million Ancient Scrolls that's so hard to get, uh, this is the perfect route to go for that because you can get Ancient Scrolls, you can get Black Pearls, Springs, and Sunstones. Also, this is the one that you need for um, Azteca in one of the crafting assignments, Agave Nectar. I had the worst time trying to come up with Agave Nectar, and the Ultra Tiger Lily drops the Agave Nectar, so that's wonderful. It'll also drop some Amber Dust and Merle's Whisker. It also drops the potted cattail housing item, and if you're looking for house shields for your PvP, the Ultra Tiger Lily is great for that as well. So, y'all don't discard the idea of getting the Ultra Plants because the Ultra Plants can do so much for you. Um, I'm going to end this video with a little excerpt of a video of me doing some harvesting on some ultra plants that I did not too awful long ago. And I hope that y'all go through all of your banks because usually that's where you're going to find you've stuck these ultra plants at. And I hope you find a bunch of ultra plants and you get them all planted and you have a wonderful time harvesting them. Y'all have a great time playing Wizard 101. And if you have any uh, special ideas of things that you know the ultra plants drop, 
drop them down below in the comment okay. section. I'll talk to you. These are a lot of the ultras and kind of special plants, although I've got a couple of plain ones in there as well. But we're going to see what they give to us, so I'm real excited about that. And I, you can see spread around them, I have the different likes for them. Okay, right off the bat, we've got um, Insane Bolts and Shanta Puddings. That's good. Okay. We're going to go here to the Ultra Tiger Lily. And the Ultra, the other one was a plain Tiger Lily, but the Ultra gave us a Merle's Whisker, White Tiger Lily. Oh, and an Ultra Tiger Lily. That's good. Now we're going to do the Ultra Dandelion. And we got some bronze and another Ultra Dandelion. That's good. And a pink Dandelion. Just a regular one. Okay, so let's try... This is our Goose Tree. We got snacks and some treasure cards and a vine and some gold too. Oh, this is the Ultra Snap Dragon. We got a Pen Dragon Bobblehead, a diamond. Always good to get diamonds. Pen Dragon Bobblehead. Interesting. Okay. And y'all can see. You know, I've got a lot of seeds going. Okay, this is the Ultra Fly Trap. Look at that. A green spider pet. We actually got a pet. Did y'all know you could get a pet from harvesting a plant? Until this moment, I did not know that you could get a pet harvesting plants. And, and you know, we got other good things too, but I'm just overwhelmed by the fact that we got a pet. It's a low level pet, only a level 38, but that's really neat. I'm excited about it. I'll have to do a showcase on the pet later. Okay, the Ultra Boom Shroom is next. And we get some gold and some tungsten and a Heidi Iron Nails Bobblehead. And some gardening spells too. So, that should give you an idea of what types of things you can get from harvesting out some of these ultra plants and why they're such wonderful plants to plant and harvest, especially if you can catch it on some kind of double garden time, which is what I did that time so that I could get extras in there. I hope it helped you guys a lot. Uh, be sure, if it did, to smash that like button for me. And y'all, check out these other videos I have on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys.